Check, since my internet is very dodgy. If, 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 ooh, sold the build the right. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna check if I'm online. If everyone, if anyone joins, let me know in chat if I'm online. Because this is very weird and sometimes it doesn't even... Uh, it doesn't even do anything. It just says like, ooh, you're offline. Like, uh, okay. Just standing here, looking like an idiot with my turtle tank. Yeah, I'm here. Um, I'm live. Oh, no. That's good to know. So... Hello and welcome to another JMP live stream. As always, I'm your host, Jornario, and today is Experience Day. I'm just gonna grind normal U9. I was grinding a lot of Geo lately. I got, like, so much flux, it's not even funny. Like, I have 1.8 mil. I, yes, well, two days ago I had, like, 1.2 mil. And I used... five to 600k. So, in total, I've gotten, like, like, in the past, like, two or three days, two days, like, 1.2 mil, I want 1.1 mil flux. And I still have, I'm selling some stuff. Just grind a lot, so, pff, might as well. I'm just gonna use other characters today, because, I don't know. I've been feeling, uh, using other characters, so I'm just gonna use, like, something like FA Trickster. My swap. My swap like here and there. I was using the pirate captain to do the daily, but I was like, should I go to the PC and edit the second episode of the last play, or should I just do a, like a little short live stream? At least not tell you guys that I'm completely 100% dead. So, anyways, guys, if I don't stream like that often. My internet has just been like very, very weird, like lately. What the hell is this? I sometimes get 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 helmets that I don't even know. Like a storm is going is coming our way like in the next couple of days, so that's unfortunate. I don't see it being like that strong, I'm just gonna say that it's coming, it's coming, there's a storm coming our way, I like it's in this one. Oops. So the thing is, it's scheduled to come in like Tuesday, uh, Monday morning. Literally like one hour after reset, which is redonkulous. And I hope I, I don't lose any electricity before I before I do like the, uh, the shadow towers because priorities. I need to keep my priorities straight. We're gonna use the Fate Trickster today. Just having some fun. Using other characters. First of all, let me buy some bombs. Let me buy. Oh my god, they're 25 each? Jesus. People need to calm down. God damn. Also, yesterday I uh, wasn't feeling like that well, to be honest. Still not feeling that well. I feel a lot better, but yesterday I wasn't feeling that 100%. I was lacking a little bit of motivation, not to mention I was feeling like a little bit sick. I need to remove the, the turtle tank because I will shoot a lot from mount. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll give it full gross. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some casual grinding. Not gonna be long. Uh, Life is not gonna be that long, to be honest. I was about to go uh, to do like the editing video. I just decided to come here, do do a little bit of a live stream because I don't want to leave you guys by hanging for a couple of days. Like it just doesn't feel right. I was uh, I was about to make a video. I was like, oh, dude, like a storm is coming up, so. If if you don't see any live stream for the next couple of days, that's the reason. But when I saw the news, the storm is not that strong. It, it is it's currently a hurricane, but it's only a, a category 1. And from the looks of it, it's not even going to hit us directly. And if you didn't know, I live in Puerto Rico. If you haven't seen my introduction video. So... Well, we are still recovering from Hurricane Maria. Yes, there are people still that doesn't have any electricity since Hurricane Maria. And... Yeah, just hearing the thought of a storm or a hurricane coming out, I'm like, oh god damn it. Why? How could this happen to me? That's like, okay. So, I'm hoping it doesn't, it's not like the same as last year. That literally like, how many, how many hurricanes was it like? Three? Three hurricanes like came our way. One of them barely missed, one of them missed completely. So it changed like track trajectory like completely at last second and the other one just hit us directly and all of them the two of them were ca uh, category 5 and one of them was a, a category 4 so yeah it was ridiculous it was like Hurricane Jose, Hurricane Maria and also Hurricane Irma or Irma I should say so Irma barely missed, which thank god that was the strongest out of all of them. Maria hit us directly and Jose just messed up completely. Literally Jose was like right behind Irma. I was gathering like all the force from Irma and we were like, oh, well, Hurricane Irma just missed, but watch out for Jose. And then Jose missed and there was like two weeks later, literally, it's like, oh, no storm is coming up. It's, a ca it's category five, well, category five and it's... And it might hit us. I was like, like I was like, I was so frustrated. I was like, God damn it, that's so stupid. <laughs> so this been what's up lately? So storm is coming up. That's fun. Like in the next couple of days, like honestly. But yeah, like the last couple of days I haven't done like anything. I no editing. I was like taking a shell. Since like <clears throat> the last couple of days, I've been like going extremely ham into the uh, YouTube thing. And I thought to myself, like, wait a minute. I I need to settle down a little bit. This is not my job. Like I said one million times, I'll say like every stream, this is not my job. I need to calm down. 
not, uh, I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to. I stress myself over literally ga gaining nothing from it. Rather than just having fun. As if I'm stressing myself, then I'm not having fun. Then what the hell? So that's why I decided to take more of a shield route. After I, d I after I completed the flux method video, I'm just taking a little bit more shell. Uh, it's whatever. Uh, right now, I was like, should I stream or should I not? I don't know. Might as well just stream like. I didn't stream yesterday because it's Dragon Day. I don't like I, I don't like grinding on Dragon Day, nor Experience Day because while well, streaming because I literally have nothing to gain. Like Dragon Day is cool; you get a lot of flux from it, but it's not like I need 100% flux and uh, and that farming method and the uh, dragon farming method. I find it really really boring. That's just how it is. I don't like it, that's why I don't do it. I get bored like really quickly. Experience day, I literally have all characters at level 30, so I don't need it as well. And... Loot day I grind, because I do like the 2 hour stellar every day. Well, the 2 hour stellar. How many stellar I can get in 2 hours. Which I do that, I'll do it tomorrow like always. Like how many sellers I can get in two hours, but I have to stream at, at around this time as well, or even later. Because my internet is just being this hour. It's literally lagging like everywhere. It's so bad. It's ridiculous. I don't know if this stream is even li like smooth or anything because I don't know if I'm lagging like crazy. If I'm stuttering like uh, 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 and the quality is like 144p. I don't know. I literally like, I have nothing else to say. Like I'm just gonna take more of a chill approach. And this one will be short. I I promise this one will be short. Not like the other one. <laughs> I remember. Like the last stream that I did. I was like, oh I'm just gonna make this one short because I don't feel like grinding way too much. Ended up doing like a four hour live stream. <laughs> it's stupid. It was fun, it was fun. But today I'm not gonna do it like that. Alright. I don't know. I, I got nothing else to say, dude. It's, it's like... Yes, I've been slacking off a little bit more. Because I don't want to overstress myself, and today and the last two days I haven't been feeling like 100%. I haven't been feeling like 100% well, especially today that I was feeling like really nauseous because I ate uh, something that was like bad. I, al I already in bad shape. There was nothing else. I, I had to eat something. I was like, starving, so I. Ate uh, it was like a little cheesecake, but that thing was old and it was bad. And I ate it and I, and I felt nauseous after that. And, 
and, and I'm still feeling it a little bit in my um, like in my voice. <laughs> that four hour live stream was brutal. It's like brutal to my soul. Not to mention I'm not exactly in the best mood today. And I don't have any water, like god damn it, I need to get some water. Oh well. Like I'm not exactly in the best mood today. It's nothing that happened in like in real life. Well technically something did, but it was pretty much more towards the lag and the internet. Because when I lag like crazy, like way too much, I get so frustrated. It's like, why? And the thing is, it's only me. I know, like, I know a couple of people that have the same internet company and they don't have the same problem. They don't lag like crazy a lot on certain hours of the day. I do. Which is frustrating. I wanted to live stream a lot earlier, but I couldn't. I couldn't even play. Well, I could play, but it was like laggy 24-7. It, it was not funny. But yeah, how's it going, dudes? Let me know on the YouTube side of thing. I uh, did you enjoy the the flux farming video, or did you need like something else? When it came, to, when it comes to that flush farming video. Also, the class review. I know, I know. I said that I was gonna do them, but I haven't even completed the the second episode on the last play. I could just divide it into two into two separate videos. But since I already uploaded the first one and I already made some changes to the first episode to the one that I already uploaded on my YouTube channel uh, since I already made some like extra adjustments to that might as well just complete the video like put the video completely it's, it's I believe it's a total of like a half hour video or like 20 20 to 25 minutes I don't know it's something like that. After the last video, the last one, the video I uploaded, I just made some adjustments to the current video and actually like edited the scene or the clip after after the other video ended. So I pretty much removed like the outro thing and just added some editing in the next clip. And that's pretty much all I did. And that's when I started doing like the flux farming video, which took me like forever to make. Well, honestly, no, it didn't take me like forever. It took me like six to seven hours to edit. It's not bad. Getting the clips was the only thing that took me like forever to do. Most of the clips that are on that video, especially like the Cinnabar part, all the parts that you see the Candy Barbarian, um, all of them are from from the Gem Day stream, from this week the Gem Day stream. So most of them are okay. Most of them are new. So. I had to add in some clips and like clips appropriate to that one and I didn't want to just get Bomber Royale clips just for that Bomber Royale segment which only took like 30 seconds uh, that the portion of the video 30 seconds to a minute it's, it's not worth it just going getting some recording just for that one that clip in particular so I since I didn't have anything for it I just make a joke about it that's all I did 
I just made a joke about it, and that was it. I was like, oh. I just put it on the text because I said that Bomber Royale so, uh, is fun, it's very fun. Which it, which it is, uh, Bomber Royale is so fun. It can be, uh, it can be frustrating sometimes, especially if you're lagging. If you're lagging, oh boy, you're in for a treat. Because the grappling hook sometimes doesn't even work. Uh, when you do that, the bomb jump, it doesn't even work. The floors start disappearing out of nowhere. It's not even funny. But what I said in that clip, it was like, oh, th it's fun, it's very fun, and I just put in text, and it's like, it's so fun that I forgot to get footage from it. That's what I just said, it was like, whatever. I'm not gonna get something, I might as well just make a little bit of a joke. That's it. Yeah, I haven't been streaming like lately. And by lately, I just mean like just yesterday, and I didn't stream like my usual time today. Well, technically, I didn't stream the last two days. I don't know. I, uh, you know what? I'm making no sense. <laughs> Honestly. I'm making no sense. I only stream Adventure Day, I didn't stream Dragon Day, like, in the slightest. I grinded a lot, don't get me wrong, it's not like I didn't play. But, for the most part, for the most part I just grinded the Geo thing. That's all I did. I did my, I did the Daily Cubits and all, all I did was grind the Geo thing, so I can get some Flux, and I ended up like, with the same amount of flux <laughs> because I wasted um, pretty much all all my all the flux that I gained I used it just to level up a little bit because I I was so close to mastery rank 35 on the geo thing so I can get two mastery reliquaries used them both and got to uh, six meta matters and used them to level up my omni tool so I level up my Omni tool, which is like the laser, the laser Mancy. <clears throat> I got the uh, laser Mancy bonus, and now I, I'm able to mine a little bit faster. This is the only one gripe I have with the Geo, well not the only one gripe, I have several gripes with the Geo caving thing. I don't mind the extremely, like the extreme amount of resources that you need, especially uh, the ore thing, because it's a great economy. The geo thing is a great economy, I'm just gonna say that much. The only bad economy from it is the, the crystal. Getting crystal are the only bad thing because they're not tradable. And that's why people are selling like crystal piñatas like crazy and Speaking of Crystal Piñata, I haven't sold mine. Like, what the hell? I'll just keep them. They'll sell by tomorrow anyways. Cap Ketcha, hi. How's it going, dude? Uh, yeah. I've been grinding a little bit, way too much on the Geo thing. I I stood there for way too long, and I since I grinded way too long, I got a lot of flux from it. Like the last two days, I've got over a melt easily. I need to since. Since the Bound Brilliance thing uh, is kind of bad, honestly, like the brown, the Bound Brilliance removal, well, not the removal, but the removal of the daily tokens, I honestly, that's the worst thing that they could do, because that was like one of the best things they had, 
It's a daily token for crying out loud. You get stuff for free. Not to mention that was the only way that you get Bound Brilliance for free. That is in the legendary tome. That you only get five of them a week. And five Bound Brilliance is virtually no nothing is. At minimum, you get like... The, oh, I saw the piñatas. Yeah, there you go. 100k. Yeah. So... Uh, there's no boss here. I don't know, and I was... Eh, you know what? I might as well just keep my mouth shut. So I'm, I'm just giving up and worse it. I honestly... Yeah, I've been grinding a little bit too much on the Geo thing. Crystal is great. The crystals. Well, no. You know what? I'll, I'll finish with the Bound Brilliance thing. Well, the Bound Brilliance is like you get five of them a week from the Legendary Tome, and <clears throat> it's like five Bound Brilliance is. If you're in the end game and you know all about the Bound Brilliance, you know the struggle of leveling up by like, powering up. But if you don't know, uh, you use Bound Brilliance to augment your gems. To uh, increase the percentage of your gems so you get more powerful. And the thing is, you need Bound Brilliance like, to get those items to get the augmenting items so you can power up. <laughs> That's the thing. Bound Brilliance, the amount of power up that you get from one Bound Brilliance is like from 1 to like 12 power rank, depending on which augment you use. And that's like 1 to 12 power rank per Bound Brilliance, and you get 5 of them a week. So you get a total of like 50 power rank maximum a week. And that is wasting over 250,000 flux, and not to mention the Dragonites and all of that stuff. Which is ridiculous, it is honestly the, one of the most ridiculous things that they could do. I removed that. Since the daily token gave Bound Brilliance and they gave 10 of them and it was a common drop, then you will see why people love the, the daily tokens for Brown Brilliance. It would still be like a big struggle to get, but it was at least decent and something useful. I don't know. But speaking of the Geo thing, <clears throat> um, the Geo thing, the gripes I have. What the hell are you? You are really. You really scared me. The Geo thing, the things I don't like about the Geo thing. Don't get me wrong, I love the caving. The caving is actually a lot more fun than you think. It's boring, like I've said this like a million times. It's boring to watch, but it's fun to do. Because you're progressing to something and... Honestly... It's like, it's not 100% boring. Well, at least for me, because I'm a freak. But... The problem I have with the Geo thing is, number one, is the crystal. The crystal is just ridiculous. You need an insane amount of crystals for for everything. You want to create metamatters? Uh, you need five metamatters to upgrade like a level four item and they're like literally like nine levels. And... And it requires like how many meta matters? Like five meta matters. A little day space. So it requires like five meta matters to upgrade one. And for every meta matter, it costs like three thousand crystals, and it's ridiculous. It's retarded. That's way too much. You have to spend way too much on crystal pinatas. And crystal piñatas, uh, they don't drop 100% crystal. When they drop crystal, they drop a lot. 
especially if you throw them. If you throw them, you can get like 600 crystal per, but it's not 100% guarantee that you get it. And yeah, the, the crystal is just bad. Uh, the other thing is the meta matter, like I've said, the meta matter is just you need that to progress. You honestly need that. The only way you can get it is crafting them. Crafting them is overpriced as hell. And reliquaries, there are rare drops from reliquaries. And reliquaries cost crystal. Or you can use a low star which costs more crystal. Is stupid, it's ridiculous. And the third thing is the plants inside the keys. They are only there to be annoying. That's literally my first selling like half an hour of grinding. So the plants are just there to be annoying. Oh, you try to mine like something? Nope. Plants just have like the most incredible aim, not to mention they go like wanted pro and they throw bombs around the corner like like there is their job well technically it's their job but you know what i mean it's like they go wanted pro and it's like whatever yes it's experience day today you get bonus experience on top of the double experience event that is going on so if you want to see it welcome yes xp day Right there, Saturday daily bonus. Every day, and you get more adventure experience, which is dungeon and everything that is like adventure theme. So the quest, the adventuring, and noise club experience. So getting more experience for your club and arena win experience. So if you're playing like the old PvP, you get more experience, but that's out of the way. <clears throat> if you want to get a lot of experience from what I've heard, you get a lot of experience from playing Bomber Royale. So if you want to play Bomber Royale, you can get a lot of experience from what I've heard. And Bomber Royale is actually really fun. So. I actually do enjoy it, honestly. I don't play it that often, obviously, but when I do, I enjoy it. If you're playing with lag, that's another thing. Don't play with lag. <laughs> that's one thing that I do not recommend playing Bomber Royale. If you're having like the, even the slightest bit of lag, don't even try playing it. You will fall off the map like crazy. That's, that's good. I'm just saying because I'm I was getting like a lot of lag and I lost a lot of games due to lag. I just like the grappling hook and the grappling hook doesn't even work and I just fell off the map. My blocks disappearing. It's not even funny. <laughs> hey whatever. I don't know, I'm just using the fate trickster right now, by the way. Don't mind don't mind the reason I'm using the fate trickster, I'm just using him. He's using the fate. It's not a bad class, honestly. It's one of the most horrible class to start with. I'll be 100% honest. Like, I used this class, uh, the trial class for this class in particular, on the PC version. And oh my god, was it a nightmare. This is one of those class that you essentially need attack speed. Because this is the strongest attack. 
Literally, that's the Faith Drifter's strongest attack. Doesn't look that powerful, but it. Trust me, it is. It's a multiplier 5.5 times. Which is. For an ability, it's like average to below average, but, but for a basic attack, that's actually the highest in the game. And seeing that you shoot like this fast, 5.5 times damage, each shot is ridiculous. Yes, you do get a lot of experience today. And if you have like double experience potions, they will get even more. The amount of experience that you get today is not even funny. You should be able to grind Uber 6. I no problem. Yes. Oh, I grind Uber 6, like, you'll get fast experience. Alright, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I see. Um, I was about to ask uh, how many cubits do you have, but I forgot. I forgot that you started like a couple of days ago. If I'm correct. You know, like the cubits. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's the usual. The thing is that uh, the, the reason I asked, I was about to ask if you have enough cubits, it was because of this one, Marshall Emblem. That's the first thing that you should buy, by the way. If you're doing uh, the daily cubits, that's the first thing that you should consider buying. Uh, that is essential for every physical character in the game, especially obviously if you're damaged physical damage, a uh, physical character. Martial Emblem is a must. That's how I'm able to do like maximum damage. I mm, like a little, like over 100 million damage. That's how I'm able to do that with my knight, with Marshall. If you didn't know, like, let's take something for example. <clears throat> so, my normal damage, like on regular attack, is like 12 million damage, which is nice, not bad. But if I use a potion, I get the martial effect, so I'm dealing 31 million damage with each, with each basic attack. So for 3 seconds, I'm dealing 31 million damage. That's what martial does. Every time you use a flask, you get 250% bonus to your physical damage for 3 seconds. So my current physical damage is... Uh, this, so uh, 270,295, if I use a potion, it's 675,000, and I forgot the rest. That's what Marshall does. You need, uh, like, you, that's the essential thing, you need Marshall, 100%. Because it is an emblem, the emblem thing. The other emblem that is really good, especially if you have low critical hit, is Sure Strike. This one you can buy it. It's currently, how much is it? It's 28,000. Well, it went down like crazy. 
I remember when that was like 60 to 70 thousand each. But sure strike when you use a flask, a potion, you get 20% to critical hit. For 10 seconds, I, by the way. I don't think so, honestly. I'm just doing my usual thing, I'm just grinding here. I don't know if I'm lag- uh, dude, I'm lagging quite a bit. I'm inside the X! Well, what the effing do? Neon Ninja, alright. Let's see if I can get some Stellar Gear then. I've been having some terrible luck with Stellar Gear. This is the only Stellar I got, it's a 4 star. But it's maximum health, so you're going the Loot Collector. This is Staff anyway. So he's a Neon Ninja. So I'll, I'll try to look for the best gear for a Neon Ninja. Actually, I do have a, a melee, but critical damage. Neon Ninja is not worth it. Well, it's good, but it's not worth it. Honestly, if 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 he's going like Neon Ninja, Neon Ninja is all about speed, so movement speed. I'll try my best. Ray R and Jesus, because today is been really bad. Well, that's how I like to go with the Neon Ninja. Oh! <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> uh, the I'll try my I'll try my best gun it getting a stellar gear and then I got a hat and it's critical damage <laughs> Horrible. Right, honestly the way I like to use the neon ninja I'm just gonna say it the neon ninja is not great in shadow towers I'm gonna say that right now you can do well, you can solo stuff, you can actually solo by even Ultra Dark of the Moon with the Neon Ninja. It is possible uh, to solo Ultra Dot. And. But yes, it is possible to solo Ultra Dark of the Moon with a Neon Ninja. It has been done, I don't know like how many people have done it, but it's been done. I hate when they do like the spinny spinny. Like, Neon Ninja is great in the Shadow Towers. I'm just gonna say it. Well, no, it's not great, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not great in the Shadow Towers, but you can do work if you're playing solo. But if you're playing with a group, it's technically like one of the worst class, right alongside the Lunar Lancer. But when it comes to grinding, technically like, well it depends. For some people he's the best and for some people he's like second best. I would say for me personally, he's like second best. Best I would still say is Vanguardian. This one is faster. Dude, night power. Like, night master race. Like, goddammit. <laughs> but, <clears throat> the Neon Ninja is. 
still the fastest character in the game. Like hands down. There no there's no character that's faster than the Neon Ninja. That's just how it is. Well technically the Lunar Lancer is faster than the Neon Ninja. It has faster high uh, well faster now. Higher base movement speed. But it doesn't have a buff that increases the movement speed like the Neon Ninja does. So that's why the Neon Ninja is faster. The reason you see a lot of people do the backflip and they run is because when you do a backflip and you turn invisible, you get 50% bonus to your movement speed. For like 3 seconds. Which is rather nice, it's really nice. Already? Jesus. Going in him, bruh. <laughs> I can see ya. But... The, the Neon Ninja, how I like to use my uh, the Neon Ninja is like attack speed, movement speed and go like balls crazy with this character, it's like whatever. I like going like insanely crazy with this character. I know using like movement speed critical damage is the most efficient at least for me. Since critical damage on the Neon Ninja increases by a lot since his shuriken. When you deal a critical hit, the critical damage pretty much turns double. That's why the damage is so high. And ooh, that was a hefty lag right there. So critical damage is great on the Neon Ninja, I'm not saying that it is bad, but I don't like it. I, I just like the Neon Ninja to be like fast in everything. Like fast moving, fast attacking. Like I want to feel like I'm playing this game on crack. That's a weird quote. <laughs> It's technically like the Neon Ninja at the end game is like playing Trove on crack. I don't like her, my friends. I'm gonna go to that place. The Neon Ninja is great. Uh, it's so fun. That's one thing that I, I'll give it to the Neon Ninja. It's really fun to use. But he's so gear dependent, it's not even funny. He's, he's really reliant on critical hits. So you need a lot of critical hit with this character. Just gonna say that from now. Since his bulking damage comes from doing crit hit with his shuriken. That's pretty much the multiplier on every attack, like basic attack is like one times damage, which is nothing. It's, it's garbage. <laughs> Just gonna say that much. It's like 1.2 or, or it's like 1 to 1.1. I don't remember. I know it's really low. Like the dash thing is you only use it just to get closer to the enemy. But then when you see the shuriken, like, it's like 7.5 times damage on if you don't have the class gem. 7.5 times damage times 2 on the critical hit, on, well, the, your critical damage. And if you had the class gem, it's literally like 
everything in front of you dies because it's 9.5 times damage, which is tied with the highest multiplier in the entire game, like base raw multiplier on an ability. And not to mention, it has that two times critical damage multiplier as well, which is the only character that does have it. So getting ridiculous amounts of damage with your Neon Ninja is it's very easy. So if you're seeing right there, I'm dealing 58 million damage with a Neon Ninja with mediocre stat at best. That's no Marshall by the way. So no Marshall 58 million damage with mediocre stat that... If this character had the same stat as Ignite, it will be dealing like over 100 million. No potion, no martial. Oh, 36k, uh, 4k, uh, 36k is actually really nice. I remember dealing that, well, that damage. You probably have a uh, I would say... I'm for much physical damage. It's over 10,000 physical damage. I, rem I remember... <laughs> my physical damage on my knight... Jesus, that lag. My physical damage on my knight was so bad. My stats on my knight were so bad. It's not even funny. Like... We're talking... Like at 17,000 power rank, I still only had like 70k physical damage. 70 to 80k. It was so bad, my gems were like literally the worst. I was high power rank, but my damage was just like. Pfft. Yeah. Well, by by Monday, trust me, you'll you'll probably get it if you do Dot of the Moon, or if you get to five thousand powering, and you do hard Dot of the Moon. Like, I don't know if I will be able to play by Monday because. Of the current storm because there is going to be like a storm coming to where I am at. And it's coming by Monday, Monday uh, around 8 a.m. So that's gonna be tough. I'm hoping it doesn't like. I I won't stay with uh, without any electricity for like a week because it's, the economy right now is just bad. And it is still like very unstable around here. Ever since Hurricane Maria, like everything has been like really unstable. And if you didn't know, I live in the in the Caribbean, uh, so Puerto Rico. So pretty much, we got striked directly by a by a Cat Five hurricane. That was awful, by the way. So everything around here is still unstable even after almost a year. So every time I just hear like, oh, there's a storm coming, I'm like, god damn it, why? It's currently like a Cat 1 Hurricane uh, Category 1 It's not even like, still, uh, it's still not even close It's not gonna even hit us directly, it's just gonna grace us and It's going to be like a storm Most likely okay. Nothing might even happen. I, I will, I will still be able to stream and do everything. So, 
that's that's why I'm not worried, unless it just turns into a like a a cat three hurricane and it hit, and it hit us directly, which I doubt it, as because at this time hurricanes aren't that strong or storms aren't that strong. Because the weather is still really hot. I'm talking about all that weather and like I'm the news or something, but hey. At least I'm letting you know. I'm letting y'all know. I don't stream on, on Monday, that's probably because I don't have any electricity. <laughs> That's just gonna be what I'm going to say. I mean, I'll try to stream uh, around this same time as today. If, uh, yeah, if I'm not online. Yeah, I'm sure some, some people will help you out. So if you manage to complete like Hard Daughter of the Moon, you will get like six empowered gem boxes. It's kind of nice. If you had Patron, that would have been like nine empowered gem boxes, but you need a Patron. If I do like ultra, since I I do have patron, uh, since I do ultra, it's like eighteen. Yeah, patron is like a like a premium service like in this game, something like that. You can actually buy it with in-game flux, but it is kind of expensive. For 15 days, you have to pay roughly 3 to 400k flux, which for me is not a problem. I can get that. I can get in. Can get that in a day. But all right, catch up. Oh. Uh... Like getting 400,000 flux in a day is no, it's no problem. I can do that easily. So I can maintain like 400k, like 800,000 flux each month. It's not a problem. But yeah, I see. So it, it is expensive for most, if not all, starting players. It's not like Patreon is overly expensive, it, it is not, it's, it's like how much is like $10 a month? But since I don't care like, since I can get it for free, why, why would I spend $10 on it? I just have to grind a little bit and I'll get it. Wait, I can go straight down, I'm an idiot. I forgot. Oh, well. Hey, at least I found you. And I got Radiant. I'm getting way too much Radiance today. Way too, way too much, way too many Radiance. Yeah, the last like five level, uh, levels. What is wrong with me today? Levers. Uh, levels are, uh, are really hard. Well, it's not really hard, but there's kind of a big difference.
And the thing is, uh, is that they lowered it, like... The amount of experience that you need right now is a lot lower than it used to. Oh, it is possible, like... I've gotten a character from level 1 to level 30 in 6 hours with just a double experience potion. Just using double experience potions. So right now it's a lot easier. Back then you needed like... At least... 10 to 15 hours just to level 1 character. And that was, by the way, that was the Vanguardian that I got from 1 to 30 in like 6 hour. And that was with incredible amounts of lag, because the it was the first day on the Heroes update, so the servers were like, couldn't contain how many players were online. <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. You would get kicked like 24-7. Ten thousand experience, that's ridiculous. From a dungeon, this that's ridiculous. How much you can get. Oh yeah, and also one more thing I forgot to mention is that also you don't have Patreon. If you had Patreon you will get fifty percent more experience. As patron players do have that. Actually, no, you will get like 100% more experience because today you get bonus to 50% and patron players have a bonus 50% by default. So you get 100% more. Like today. I'm full again? God damn it. Oh wow. Alright. Because, yeah, I remember, I only did that, like, once, like, way back. That was when I was leveling up my Dino Tamer. There was a double experience event. Uh, I had Patron, and I used a double experience potion. I was getting, like, 40,000 experience per dungeon on Uber 7. And that's nothing compared to the the right now if you have all the things I mentioned so like Patreon, today, the double experience potion and everything and you were using the uh, the Uber 9 outpost, you would get literally like three to four hundred thousand experience each quest. It's retarded. That's why, that's why Danian said his crap cases, uh, a lot of people buy them. Because of that reason, that's how you complete that quest. A lot of people right now, I'm just literally like, I just got into this world. And like four or five people were like, oh, anyone, uh, a Plasmion Outpost, Plasmion Outpost. Because everyone is literally doing that just to level up characters. That's the reason you, you, you see a lot of people buying Neon City Scrap Cases. Because you need like to collect 50 Plasmium. The quest is collect 50 Plasmium and you get more than 50 each uh, Neon City Scrap Case. And if you can do... If you cannot like you cannot complete dungeons fast in Uber 6 then go back then go down to Uber 5. So you can complete it as fast as possible and you get a, a lot more experience. 
You will get less experience per dungeon, but since you will complete it faster, you will get more in the long run. I love having 70% critical hit. Critical hit. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just saying uh, for experience purposes. If you want to level up, like strictly level up, go into the lower Uber portals, and you will get much more experience. That's why I never go to the higher Uber portals, even though I can solo it. Uh, like when I level up my Vanguardian, I just stood at Uber seven. I could solo I could have solo you Uber 9 but I decided not to because since Uber 7 I could literally kill everything really quickly so and the difference in experience is not that much honestly I from Uber 7 to Uber 9 I believe it's from Uber 6 to Uber 9 the experience difference is not that much because I believe it's like base 50% experience per Uber after Uber 6. Wait. I think they're calling me. It's just to grab. I decide not to stream. Like, I don't like streaming on, on Dragon Day. I wasn't feeling like all too well. I was like, I was not feeling like 100% and also I was like, eh, whatever. Not stream it, but might as well just grind. I did log in, I just grinded on the Geo Caves and that's it. That's all I did yesterday, like last night. But no, I decided not to stream. It's like, eh. I was like, eh. It's Dragon Day. I don't like grinding on dragons. There's certain days that I really don't like grinding. Today is one of them, honestly. I wasn't going to stream today, but I was like, well, might as well just stream it anyways. I don't want to. I don't want to be like a complete dick. I'll be honest. Hey, Lou. It's like <clears throat> there's certain day that I don't like grinding. So days that I don't like grinding is like. Uh, adventure day is like okay. I I like grinding sometimes adventure day because I get surprised of how many talisman I get, and one talisman is really expensive. So that's why I, uh, I sometimes even go ahead and even check my inventory. So I go ahead and check my inventory to see if I got like a talisman. So if you know, want to know if you have any talisman, just go into inventory the dragon coin tab and it will be like around where the bomber royale or event thing is so if you have a, like a talisman you can actually sell those for like a lot especially like if you get something like a panda talisman a rat talisman those sell up for a lot especially the, the panda talisman those those sell for like 300 mil uh, 300k i was about to say 300 mil like 300k flux That's why I, some, uh, I grind on adventure days, but other than that, I don't like grinding a lot of dragon day and experience day because I already have all characters I max out. And what else? Gathering day, I, I don't, I like 
grinding gathering day, but I don't like streaming it. Because I'm literally like grinding resources. That's all I'm doing. Grinding resources so I can get some flux. That's all that's literally all I'm doing, like on um, Tuesdays. And Sunday, I like grinding Sundays because of the bonus magic find and see how many sellers I can get. Speaking of sellers, see, I am very unlucky today in terms of sellers. I'm literally like getting nothing. It's been over an hour and I only gotten like two sellers. Woohoo! Two sellers in one hour. Huh. God damn it. Can I go up? There you go. I And so Jesus, I, I really need some sellers today, boys. I got them again. Let me swap to my knight, and I have some more magic fine. I has all the magifying equipment, but it's lower, so might as well just use him to see if I can get better luck. The one shot killing machine. I used to joke about it like a lot on the when I used to stream on Twitch. As like my night is literally like a walking one shot killing machine. Like a friend of mine told me, like, he, uh, like the my knight is a walking tank of destruction. I don't know why, but I found that really, really funny. Like I can just imagine this knight walking around like very slowly and killing everything one shot. I missed. Oop. Hit. That juicy, juicy max damage. That's one of that is, was one of my goals with this character, like getting max damage, like dealing like over 100 mil. That's literally one of my goals. Next box after box boss after this one I'm gonna kill it with bombs. I'm just gonna see and throw it like a bombs until it dies. So that then just gonna go down. Bomb destruction. <laughs> Another, another mm, yes, I'm Yoda. I am very sad, yes. Mm. Sad, I am, yes. I'm getting way too many radiance. I'm getting frustrated. I don't even care about sunlight bulbs, honestly. 
Too, way too many Dragonfire picks, though. My Cornerstone is like way over there. Let me respawn. Let me get to the, uh, my Cornerstone real quick. So, I just opened a Cornerstone and left like two dungeons in front of my Cornerstone. That guy in Global Shy is freaking out because it's a, he got his Vanguardian to 30. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Excuse me, game? Huh. Dungeon didn't even generate completely. Yep. Beautiful generation trove. Beautiful. I mean, Global Shy is starting, like, again. I, I always say this in my stream. Like, when I used to do, like, Twitch, I always say, like, keep an eye always on my Global Chat. For some reason, I always get the weirdest Global Chat ever. I don't know why. Like... I still remember one of my streams, people were fighting over um, Fade Dust. Oh, noise. So you're able to see what I'm about to type. I can type like in. <laughs> Where is the three star? There are you at? And okay. Hat attack sweet. I got a hat, a stellar hat attack sweet. I could probably be the uh, the first one. That guy's going crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> nice. Global said, let the war begin. Oh boy. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, why is why is this a thing? <laughs> I 
<laughs> they are not helping the case whatsoever. <laughs> oh my god. Noise. Pretty much, dude. She's like trophy. Someone just says anything and everyone just gets triggered for some reason. So, yeah. Like I said, I got a global shot of people fighting over fairy dust. selling stellars to other players like going to like trade chat and say like, oh I'm selling stellars because oh my god you you have no idea how much of a headache that is there are some people that you wouldn't believe well I'm, I'm just gonna be as blunt as possible you wouldn't believe how stupid some people are Like, they legit gave me a headache from how stupid they can be. That's why I stopped selling stellars. Uh, like, selling stellars in global chat or in trade chat. Because of that reason. Some people are just like... Oh. Uh, I'm selling like... Uh, let's say, for example... Um... Yeah. Now, if you don't have a keyboard, it's pretty much like really hard to type unless you have like a hotkey or a like a custom text like right down there. I still haven't killed the three star. I still haven't killed the three star boss. I don't like doing this dungeon a lot because the uh, four four twenty. Oh boy! I like completing this dungeon in particular because the boss, like the three star boss, spawn randomly. It's not like a fixed spot like this. One, for example, I know that the boss is like straight down there. But uh, in the other dungeon it's just random. When they where they spawn. <laughs> Some people are just what the hell? I don't know. But I know I can make like a little bit of a profit from people, but I sell the Stellars pretty much the same price as I look collect them. So I won't make that much of a difference in, in profit. Because when I look collect Stellars, I get 2500 Flux and a Stellar Soul, which costs like 2000 or something. So I get roughly like four, four and a half thousand for each look collect so I will get like 500 difference from a stellar but yeah speaking of some people I remember one time 
I was selling someone was buying a stellar bow and trust me that was one of those people with orange names so it, it was a person with really high mastery so a person who know who that I've been playing for a little bit in this game I got stellar what is that critical damage we getting a lot of crit damage god damn it so he just said like, oh, I'm buying Seller Bow. I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll sell you a Seller Bow. You you seem like a person that does have a little bit of flux, so I'll sell you a Seller Bow, four stars, for 25k. Four stars. Uh, four star Seller, 25k. That's very cheap. Because each star normally costs 10,000 flux per upgrade so per star is 10,000 flux so it's, it should be like 40,000 I'm like 25 I'm like ah no that's a little bit too expensive uh, let's do it 15 or it was yeah it was something like 15k I'm like bruh getting into 4 star is 40 and you're telling me so oh, screw that dungeon uh, you're telling me I should sell a 4 star stellar critical damage bow and for uh, 25k yes pretty much yeah flipping the market is literally the fastest way you can get plus in the game if you know what you're doing if you know what you're doing then you can get over a hundred thousand you can even get millions of flux like no problem can make, make like a million flux in like like a couple of days just flipping the market from starting from scratch but it does require like way too much of a patience like you it's require like way too much but <clears throat> so this dude in particular was like, oh, I want to buy a uh, like 15k. And I'm like, no. Uh, and I explained that getting to four star is 40k. No, I'm, and I'm selling and I'm selling to from 25. I'm pretty much like giving this away to you. You're getting like a lot more bang for your buck. And it was also a critical damage bow. And critical damage bow is pretty much the essential if you're using a bow character, which is either the shadow hunter or the boomeranger. The boomeranger is like critical damage attack speed, and the shadow hunter is like critical damage movement speed. So you need critical damage either way. It's like the best stat for a bow. And, it was, and he insisted on buying it for like. Uh, 15k. And I was like, no. I was like, no, I don't even care. I'm, I'll keep it. I'll keep the bow. I was like, oh, okay, then 20k. And I was like, no, I'm not selling a 4 star 20k. I do have a 3 star movement speed. Which I still have it, by the way. For 20k. And. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, no, no, no. I'll buy the, I'll buy, uh, the 4 star for 25 so it was like such a hassle just selling a stellar and that was not even that long ago I was like yep I forgot the reason why I stopped selling stellars that's because that in particular wait Oh yeah, but the regular price for stellar drops or stellar items is like 10,000 flux on the current marketplace. So if you're wondering, that's the current price. Although I'm selling pretty much half the price. 
but if you're buying a stellar then it should be like around 10 to 20k nothing more unless you're buying like a four star or uh, like a five to six pearls uh, a stellar but other than that it's just like 10 to 20k and you're good to go I, I sell mine for like 5,000 if uh, if it is like a look collector I, when I say like look collector I say like in quotation like look collector stellar but let's say for example that stellar that I just got it's a one star attack speed head which is not bad honestly but I, I would just consider it to be like a look collect stellar or this two star I just look collected or this critical damage faith it's a look collect item, so I sell those for like 5,000, which I'll get the same amount of plus look collecting or <clears throat> or, or selling it to other players. It's like the same amount of flux. Open all, I'll open all those boxes. <laughs> almost karma bar like on the I'm almost karma bar like here on the cash chest so my inventory and trying to get the uh, if you're looking for stellar drops and and trying to get the full stellar gear so I have a uh, uh, Lucky Clan, hi, how's it going dude? I'll sell, I'll keep the two star right here. So, there you go. I do have like, a pro, thank you. I appreciate the compliment, my dude. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. We should be at 35 right now. <gasps> you buoy. That's funny. That's very interesting. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. And Cap Capture as well. Thank you for the follow. So <clears throat> hey, I'm losing my voice. I'm still feeling it for like the four hour stream that I did. I was I'm still f I still feel it like crazy. Yeah, I saw it, thank you dude. Alright. <laughs> Well done! <laughs> Make the global chat weird, I guess. <laughs> Donate what, uh, Clack Clan? Uh, what up, Cap? Uh, cash up. I'm an Uber 9 currently. Do so. For like, if you want, do it. I don't mind. I appreciate it, but yeah, do they happens? Like, I know. You need like you need to be like really powerful to get in, to do Uber Eight. Like to do Uber Eight, you need to be at least like eight to nine thousand power rank to do Uber Eight easily. 
That's... How much flux do I have? Almost 2 million, I guess. I would say like almost 2 mil. Or probably even 2 mil. I don't know. Can I... How do you save a custom text? So, press start button. Go into the setting. You will see social. You will see the quick chat. Here, you will select uh, whichever custom text you want. Type whatever you want. And let's remove DND and, and let's say like hi. See, uh, in the first quick chat will say hi. So when you press down, you will see it. Hi, right here. And let me put the ND back. Don't worry. I'm not gonna give away flux, do do. I am sorry. I'm not gonna give away flux. If you need flux, you can grind for it, dude. <laughs> That's just what it is. There are very many methods of, far of farming flux. Honestly, if you want, uh, there will be like, I'm, I will be like a shameless plug. Like, go into my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash d1994. And literally my newest video that I made, I pretty much explained the flux method that I do. Oh, that I think they're really good. From beginning all the way to the end game. So, since I get this question a lot, so I decided to make that video for everyone. It's well edited, it is. So... For the most part, yeah, for, for the most part, it's just patience. Yeah, you'll get used to it, honestly, on the marketplace thing. Power rank and damage, like, whew, whew, whew. there are so many ways that you can get high power rank and damage, but for the most part, is getting high again another dungeon that spawned like this. What is wrong with this game? So, pretty much, is get gems, like, I do have stellar gems, all of them, I do have them all maxed out at level 25. With all of them being 100%. Mm, I wouldn't say that I'm lucky. I would say that I'm more... Well, honestly, I'm more unlucky than lucky, to be honest. But it's just that I grind way too much. I grind a lot. Not donating flux, my dude. I don't like giving away flux, honestly. My gamer is the same as my mixer channel, so it's literally the exact same. Go ahead, 
add me. So it's literally the exact same as Jonetti 94. You'll see it like right above the level 30 knight. That's my gamer tag. It's the same as, this, as the Mixer channel. It's the same name. But if you need flux, just go ahead and grind. I check my video and you will see which item you should grind for. I do those exact methods. Well, I pretty much explain like a lot of methods. So. For the most part, like getting flux is a lot of patience. Mike. Well, not really. Honestly, if you want to see the prices, just go ahead to the marketplace. And type the name of the item. So let's take for example Cinna bar. I just type Cinna and you will see it. That's the current price. Remember to have this checkbox. Yeah, I saw I saw I haven't read the message, but I saw that you messaged me. So a notification. Always keep like this check uh, this checked. Always like I will show you like the lowest unit price and that's the current price of the item. So same with something like Robotic Salvage, I'll type Robo and Robotic Salvage at almost 60 a piece. Shape Stone. There are three of there are three a piece, Jesus Christ, they're pretty expensive. You're asking for way too much. Anyways, uh, what else? What else did I mention in my in my video? I actually forgot. I rem uh, yeah, I mentioned like ores, which is like the well, recipe. I didn't mention recipe, honestly. I. That should be like one good method, but honestly, like, it's not fast. It's not a fast method, but it's a decent method. So, like, for example, also Neon City Scrap Cases, Neon City. Oh, Scrap. There are 2.3k. Uh, Infineon. I'll type Infi. So, 3.5, 4.5. Uh, form a side, form a, uh, so, they're four piece, four, five, seven, Jesus, they're really expensive, oh my god, I didn't know. Radiant shards, five a piece, they're really expensive as well. Um, glacier shards, I'll type glacier, oh god, I'm gonna die. So, glacier shards, 35. So that's, that's how you check the prices pretty much. Just go ahead, type the item in the search bar and you will see and make sure to have the check boss like right there. I doubt it. My best player in the game, I really doubt it. I'm the most experienced knight, yes. Well, technically, I, I'm technically still at the top. When it comes to like night, I'm third. All right, Clacky Clan. Good luck, my friend. 
When it comes to like dungeons, I'm 26. Enemies defeated, I'm 28. So yeah, yeah I'm technically high up there. But I'm honestly not the best. Heck, this is like literally my first week being purple name. And purple name, like, if you're seeing my club chat, like on my chat, those people that you see purple name, that is people. Well, thank you. I, I hope it, I hope as well. We had to wait and see. But. Those people that you see in my clothes are like, this is Vito, B-Dub, those people been purple for like almost a year, they get purple every week, those are top players, those are actually the top players. Obviously, to be at like the top top of the game, you need to be like insanely paid to win, which I am not. That's why I will never get to like high up their high ridiculous standards like they do. But I'm keeping up. That's the good thing. I'm at least keeping up. Like being almost free to play and being over 26,000 power rank is a, not an easy feat to do. And also just not being 26,000 power rank, but being... No, die. And being also like... And top 70 in most power rank in the entire game, uh, amongst all characters. I can get more power rank if I want it, but I don't even care. Yeah, it will happen. If you're not using Jade Clovers, it will happen a lot. And honestly, if you have Jade Clovers, just save them until you get to Uber 9. But yeah, it will happen a lot. Jade Clovers, Jade Clover, Jade Clover, Jade Clovers. Okay. If I go up, uh the clovers are these items. Big clovers. Gem level up booster. This lucky charm prevents from cracking. Well, prevents cracking. So it will prevent your gems from breaking completely. So you have to repair it. And you can get those from gem booster boxes. This will give you gem booster box. Uh, gem booster box that will give you. Oh, you can buy ten regeminator. This is actually new. That's not bad. Actually new. It's the same price, but actually new. You can actually buy them for credits as well. They're very cheap. And but honestly, it's like. <laughs> Having a lot of Jade Clover is actually really good. And you also get them not only from those, but you also get them from Contest. So if you're in the top, if you get, if you get like... Hi, hello, hola, hello, Drupley. Like, what is it? If you get 100 Infinium Mine this week, you will get 50 J Clovers by Monday. Same with boxes open. If you open 50 boxes, you will get J Clovers by Monday. Also, like the glittering horseshoes and also the lapis lock bug. Those are also boosters that will help you out a lot. Mm. I'll get 10 crystal pins. I'll sell them. I, don't, I won't even throw them. I will sell them by Monday. It's like... <laughs> I, 
10 day clo uh, 10 of these crystal piñatas I'm going to sell them for like 200k on Monday so that's going to be fun Now oh, a rip Oh so there's two different contests I only thought that the experience were they removed the club experience but they only gave it to like weekly adventures completed but now you can actually get two golden chaos chests a week that's actually neat they know that but yes i'm sure by if you mine enough infinium i'm sure by by Monday you will have over 100 J Clovers, which is more than enough. You need to mine, I believe it's like 50 Infinium. I think, I don't remember. Oops, I uh, oops, I clicked the achievement <laughs> and that stopped my son. It's like 100, you need to mine 100 and if you mine 350 Infinium you will get the horseshoes and the, obviously the lapis lock bug as well. So you will get 10 lapis lock bug, 20 horseshoe and the 50 J clovers. And also the boxes open, if you open 100 boxes you will be, you will get 10 glittering, 10 lapis love bug, 20 glittering horseshoe, and 50 J clovers. Which is not bad. Let me see. If you get like 350, you also get an empowered gem box. From the Infinium thing. And if you open, how many boxes is it? It's not a whole lot, honestly. Now that I see it. Jesus, how many? It's like... 300 boxes or something like that. If you open like 300 boxes, which you should get a lot just from doing dungeons. Gem boxes actually count, by the way. So it's like... 410 boxes and that's it. I can get that in like a day. So, 400 boxes if you... Well, it's not top 2000, it's like less than 400 boxes. Around 380 to 390 boxes and you will get... An empowered gem box as well from the boxes open. That's what I'm trying to do, dude. I, I'm trying to get stellars. <laughs> I only got like a uh, like a hat. I'm I'm having like terrible luck today. That's the that's the thing. Like, look at this. I've gotten like a four star. I got like a four star. Oh. <laughs> so I also got like a two star. Two two star and all of them are attack speed hats. That's the only thing I've gotten. I'll save that four star anyway, so I'll save one two star and a four star to tell whichever you want. If you don't care about like spending money as on stellars then I do have like high uh, high star stellars. Like for a neon ninja. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, energy regen melee. Woohoo! Literally one of the worst second stat in the game. Unless you're using like a knife for shadow towers or you're just backflipping like crazy on the Neon Ninja and don't even care about attack speed. I still remember. <laughs> I'll tell you like a little bit of a story. Like, long, long, long ago. <laughs> that sounds like a, like an intro to a cartoon or something. No, but honestly, like when I started like Uber 9, I was, I remember I was like 15 to 16,000 powering. I was doing Uber 9 and there was like someone I knew. I wouldn't exactly call him as a friend because he was a prick. And... He used to use a lot of the Shadow Hunter, like crazy. He was a scammer. That's that's why I think uh, that's why I say he's a prick. He was a scammer. He scammed people like like people's radiance, so he could sell it to other players, so he could get flux. He scammed his way to 10k, so he was like 3,000 power rank. And I woke up, dude. But he was like 3,000 power rank and he scammed like 9 to 10 radiance. And back then, radiance were like 30k each. And so he scammed like a lot, like so many radiance. A lot of people quit the game because of that. And the thing is, he. He had, uh, he had a shadow hunter and then all of a sudden he just decided to change to a neon ninja. And just because like... Um, you guys watch uh, Trove YouTube or not? If you watch like Trove on uh, YouTube you might see like Scythe Place. Oh, oh, rip. Or you might know who Scythe Place is. Well anyways. Side place is pretty much like the biggest trove YouTuber out there. And Scythe only had like uh, he used the Neon Ninja with energy regen because he used the backflip thing a lot. And the backflip like doing like a lot of backflip on console is really hard. It's really hard to do but not on the PC because mouse and keyboard is a lot easier to do do bat flips than uh, here on console and not to mention the frame rate on the PC is a lot better. So he used like energy region on the Neon Ninja so he could do bat flip. And the dude, the person I knew, the scammer prick, he, he used energy region on the ring so he tried to imitate like Scythe. <laughs> it was so funny just seeing him struggling doing baffling. It was like, oh, dude, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at with my Neon Ninja. I'm so fast. And me with my Knight. No movement speed on gear. Just using my mount that I was keeping up with him. I was like, wait, what? You decide to spend to get yourself a stellar gear with energy regen, which stellars are really hard to get. The, the, trust me, like back then, like getting a stellar stellar cost like 100k each. And they were so rare to find like someone selling some stellars. <laughs> it was like... You spend that amount of time just to get to an energy region on your weapon. So you can imitate a YouTuber. And fail miserably at it. And thinking that the Neon Ninja is really good with the energy region. And when I use like... <laughs> I still remember. When I use my Neon Ninja. I never use energy region on my Neon Ninja. On second stat. On weapon. I only use it on ring. <laughs> I still remember. He was... He, uh, I used my Neon Ninja and he was like... Oh! Your Neon Ninja is so slow. Why are you using him? 
That was so funny because I pretty much did like two dungeons before he could complete one of them. I was like twice or three times as fast as he was. Like, he was so funny because he was him like struggling, like going like trying to keep up with my uh, with my neon ninja i wasn't like really that great with the neon ninja back then i didn't have like even max movement speed on my neon ninja but i know how to do like the like the proper movement on the neon ninja on uh, here on console because let me just give you an explanation the neon ninja on the pc you pretty much like do backflips like this since the sensitivity on the PC is a lot higher, you can pretty much turn around like really quickly. But here on console, you you turn around like really slowly. So you're going backflip and then you have to turn around. And what he did was pretty much this. He pretty much do this. No potion, he didn't do anything else. He was pretty much like do this. And then he, was, he ran out of energy and was like flying with the wings and you see me like going like crazy like really far away from him and then he tried to keep up like doing this all over again ran out of energy and then use wings recover the energy all over again then do bad flips and then all again the wings and you see me already completing the dungeon and already going to the next dungeon it was so funny struggling see him and struggle like that it's it was hilarious because what i do with the neon ninja this is a little tip that i'll give to a lot of neon ninjas out there whether you're watching this on youtube or you're watching here on mixer neon ninja on console the way i used to do it is if i wanted to go let's say i want to go to a to the three star dungeon the dragonfire peaks i pretty much do this i pretty much use backflip dodge backflip dodge backflip dodge and as, as you're seeing i'm keeping up like high sp momentum high speed and i'm still maintaining like energy and that's without any energy So that's pretty much what I did. So I completed like, let's say something like a dungeon, there, bath flip, maintain bath flip. As you can tell, I'm already in, in a dungeon with half my energy. And I can still throw down a shuriken, because that's, his, that's the thing. He wasted all his energy just going to a dungeon and he had to wait till the energy recovers so he can throw down a shuriken it was honestly one of the most fu the funniest things ever because you saw him like struggling and then when he started moving with his neon ninja and since the neon ninja is naturally really fast <laughs> you see him like yeah i'm so good at this game <laughs> yeah dude like, I'm so good, I'm so fast, you cannot keep up with my new ninja, my new ninja is too fast. That's literally what he said, like, he said that his new ninja is too fast. Even though I could keep up with him using a mount. I don't know. I got some really weird stories, I might say. Thank God he doesn't play anymore this game because he was, I would say he was like a cancer to this game. <laughs> 100%. Being blunt again. I'm lagging again. I'm being like, being honest, he was like a plague to this game. Like scamming people for his own benefit. Just so he could get some flux. The thing is, he's like, oh my god, this lag, Jesus. Wait, 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 hold on. 
they just let's just wait until the lag settles down a little bit. I got attacks with melee three. St what? I was in my loot collector and I got teleported here in a mountain in a corner. And the game didn't recognize that I look collected. Huh. Yeah, this is a kind of that I was dealing like lately. Uh, well, kept catch up. If you're still here, um, you don't mind uh, how expensive expensive the stellar is. Because I do have like high star stellars, I do have them, but they're a little bit more expensive than the five thousand, uh, the five thousand logs that I normally sell. It's obviously like not that that expensive, but I can sell you like a full four star gear. So that's four star face. 4 star hat, 4 star melee, all I would say is that 75k, so 75k for all three of them. It is expensive, that is why I'm, I'm trying to get like lower star stellars. It is a lot, yes, that's why I've, I'm saying like, mm. that's why like I'm trying to get like one to two star sellers. But these are four stars, like getting to four star on every single one is 120k. Like getting four stars. It's 120k, and um, that's why I'm lowering it from 120 to 75k. So that's why I've been trying to get like lower stars. I, I'm i gonna grind for the stellar is it's all right I'm I'm not desperate for the flux I don't care but I'm just giving away like a reasonable price you can buy two of them for 50k but I might as well just try to get better like a full gear I actually got also a three star hmm, that's not bad so I still only have like a hat, that's the only thing that I do have. This hat is like 10k. So if, let's see something like this, let, let, let me do like a little bit of a deal right here. <laughs> hmm. So a hat is a 2 set attack speed, 2, 3 star attack speed, 1 pearl. All I need is a face. So if I add this one, that's it. This is 25, 35. Also, this is 20 normally, so that's 55k. So this one is like 55k. This in particular, this combination. So a two star hat, a three star melee, and a four star face. Movement speed, attack speed, and attack speed, all of them which are great for the Neon Ninja. This in particular is 55k. Because it's, it's 10k for the hat, 20 for the melee, so that's 30, and 25, so that's 55. Alright. 
for me and invite them. Unfortunately, I don't have a ring. That's the only sad part. I ran out of celestial diamonds, so Psst. rip on those. Resting cappuccinos. Yeah, <laughs> you were the last one. The last one to get the stellar ring. Just throw me an invite on Xbox normally, like a normal invite. Just search my gamer time, invite me to game. <laughs> Mario <laughs> What? It's with N Nario is with N N <laughs> Yes Go ahead, check my gamer dad, John Nadia 94. And throw me an invite. <laughs> That's alright. Or also like send me a message if you want and I'll try in my I'll try to join you. But I think I need an invite. Or I can just wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I can just go to my club, and you will join to my club. It's a lot easier. Should be like easier. Actually, forget. I like, I actually. It's all right on mine. Is this one? Welcome to Club Gears. Jo uh, join on him. Uh, join on me. I was about to say join on him. Talking to third person. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Again, almost I was. I said. This was gonna be a short stream. Here I am, two hours later. <laughs> you still have that face. <laughs> It's really funny, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna change this campaign, it's way too... This dude is way too big. I'm gonna give it the burger. Yeah, little burgy. And let's see the sigil change. And let's look at the sigil change. E and come on. I know it's gonna change like crazy. Let's see the sigil change. Equip it. And there we go. Woo woo. 
over 2500 By the way, at level 30, you'll get this costume, by the way. Night level 30 costume looks sick. Jesus. <laughs> I'm still missing the stellar ring, by the way. That's also another thing. That's the advantage that you have over him. I like stellar ring is like seven to eight hundred power. Well, not seven to eight hundred is like eighty to nine hundred power rank. Let me change this mount and let me give myself. I don't know, I'll put a dragon, I guess. I'll put like Starfire, I don't care. I'm gonna swap like costume, I'm gonna use another costume. I like this costume, I really do like the this costume a lot. Also, the Argent Avenger. This one is also a really nice costume. You can actually like uh, enter any club you want, as long as you type like in global chat slash or any chat slash join world like this and you type the name of the club like space and the name of the club and you will enter any club that you want whether you're invited or not unless you're banned from like the club world if you're banned from the club world then you cannot enter This is one of my favorite costumes for the night, to be honest. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like a cool helmet to go with it. Noish. I would love like this helmet to be like a black and red variant of this helmet. That would look sick. I'll give you like piñata hats to the both of you. I since I have way too many, I'll give you like pin hats. It's twenty mastery points, so, and they're funny looking hats. So it's whatever. And one of each. And just look collect them by the way. Uh, look collect both styles and you will have the those styles. Um, and you come over here. I'll give you the hat styles as well. Here. Hiya. 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 Again. There you go. I'm waiting, I can give you the two helmets. Go into Trapo so I can give you the two piñata hats. And the two pin hats. There you go. Just look, collect them. Both of them, and you will get the style. 
That's 20 mastery points. No problem, dude. And if you want to know where they at, just go into your hat, press A, and go into the pin category, and you will see them right there, both of them. No problem. You know what? I'm gonna use like the old one of my Twitch, old one of like the Twitch style that I had on my night. So it's like this combination with this helmet and also it is this melee style. There you go. Like if, let me give myself some aura, like, less aura. I would like to use like the mark of the mastery. Shadow stain. Uh, oh, it's all right. Moonlight majesty. That's what I used. Uh, no. Or a defeat. Honestly, I would like to use this one. Like the bubbly and water theme. This for chaos, verse of violence, glory fantasy, corrosion cloak. I'll give like the corrosion cloak, whatever. And the hat. You, you. I'll keep the Seri might whatever. I like the my crown helmet thing. Gems? Maybe? And power gems, probably? That may be the case. By having more empower gems. Okay, then. <laughs> Then I don't know. I'm doing like a blank. I'm trying to think like he doesn't have a stellar ring, he doesn't have a power gem. Not really, you don't need like to buy better stellars. Just upgrade the current one that you have and that's it. Getting different stellar, it will cost you more. Because it's 10,000 flux, yes, it's quite a bit, but honestly, like, not that much. And you'll get them from here, and the eyes, they're really cheap, so... Like, getting pearls... I know the pearls is they are expensive. Those I know for a fact they are expensive. 
it's like eight pearls total and well at least you need like three pearls to get the four stat on all of your pieces of gear so that would be like ideal so let's take for example uh, having four start four stats are actually like really good so let me go to a chaos force so i will teach you like the difference of having like four stats and having none in terms of attacks please since i pretty much sold you like all of them attacks uh, critical damage if i remember correctly like all of the stellars and like let's take for uh, for example this is me without like any attack speed on any gear this will be like the difference so let's go to the chaos forge so you see like what is it to have like maximum attack speed so that was like my my knight without attack speed uh, this is with attack speed on gear The difference is way too much. Granted, I do have like two pearls, like max attack speed, but you will feel like a big difference having like full stellar, like four stat on all of your gear. And all the time, like really fast, like, doo -doo -doo -doo. like it's, just, it's ridiculous. And that is when the true power of the attack speed knight comes in, like, look at this, this is no potion, me going into dungeon and just using my basic attack to kill, like, mobs. So getting three pearls of wisdom, so you can uh, get four stats, and well the first thing that you should do honestly is get the four stat, so buying the pearls of wisdom, the three pearls of wisdom. So you can get the four stat on all of your gear, your hat, your face, and your weapon, and then upgrade. You have two pearls, like, in your inventory. That's great. So that means, like, upgrade, like, get the four stat on two, your, uh, two of your pieces of gear, and then reroll it to attacks with the four stat. And then you will like, you will feel the difference, like, I think it's like 44% on two pieces of gear. Okay, so, in order to use the Pearl of Wisdom, go into the Enchanted Forge, or this one. If you don't have it, you I think you can craft it, where you can craft this, like Builders. It's not builders. It's adventures. Where the hell is it? Is it adventure? I actually forgot. Hold on a sec. This will take like forever. It's like your improvement. Yeah, it's right here. So it's this one. So you can craft this if you don't have it. Craft it. And it's very cheap. Once you have this. You will go into the Enchanted Forge, select any piece of gear that you have, and it will have like the symbol. Uh, don't click on the symbol, otherwise the game will crash. Trust me, it happens like a lot. You will get like a piece of gear. Let's. Do I have like a three star pearl, like a three stat? Let me go ahead and grab a stellar right here. So. If I select this stellar, it will have, it will say like upgrade, 
if I if I did have a pearl, it would say like add a four stat or something like that, or add another stat to that piece of gear. Once you upgrade it or give the pearl, you will get the four stat on your piece of gear. Noish. So you don't need to re-roll it. You got it twice? You got it on both of your gear? That's lucky. <laughs> Now all you need is one more for another piece of gear and that's it. Well, try to buy one more Pearl of Wisdom and that's it. Pearls of Wisdom are pretty much the same as 11k. That's why they're getting like all 8 Pearls like is, is bad. Yeah, upgrading like... Upgrading your Stellars will... will Go, you will go broke like in an instant. It's same. It's the same with math mastery. Once you, if you want a lot of mastery, you will go broke in like no time. I can still remember when I spent over four million blocks just to level up ten levels of my mastery, so I could get to five hundred. Yeah, it's 10 to 50, the Pearl of Wisdom, but he's selling two of them. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, you can buy them. <laughs> Let me change my attack speed and all my gear. Let me go back to my roots. My god. RNG just bless you. Here I'm here I am trying to get my movement speed back on my first piece of gear. Yes, and you should be able to clear like Uber 6 like much more faster. There you go. Yep. Magic damage and tax with okay there we go. Give me my magic find and movement speed, god damn you. No magic find attack speed, movement speed. I want movement speed. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's... <laughs> rip. But you should attack like that much more faster and you should be that much more powerful. That's pretty much what you use the flux for. Use the flux for... Uh, use the flux to get more powerful. Either for mastery or... Just to upgrade. Noise. It's very nice. That's with only one empower gem. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Like goddamn. Now that I sold all the, uh, the stellars, now the stellars will, will appear like crazy. Like right now, energy region.
So, how are you holding up in Uber 6 now? Make sure they're really high power rank. Make sure there are two stars at least. And yeah. I don't remember which is it. I think it's like the rarest out of the gems is like resplendent like the rainbow one on uber 6 I don't remember like the rare drop yes because uber 7 is, sh is shadow uber 8 is radiant and uber 9 is stellar okay, okay. yeah so it's resplendent so try to get as many as uh, those resplendent. Yeah, as you should. You, you have three pieces of gear that gives you attack speed. It's like 66%. You have like 66% more attack speed. It's something ridiculous. Not to mention, if you have the subclass, the Lunar Lancer subclass, you will attack that much more faster. You know what? I'll use... I'll use the Shadow Hunter. I haven't used this character in a stream in a long time. Yeah. That's why once you get Martial Emblem, you will feel the game being like that much more easier like martial emblem makes this game a lot more easier like instead of dealing like 37k per hit you will be dealing like over 100 that's that's for that's i know that for a fact you will deal like Almost or over 100k. You should be dealing like 100k honestly. With Marshall for 3 seconds. You get cubits from the the daily, like the daily star bar. Like completing dungeons and also like badges, like some badge gives you cubits uh, for the most part is doing dailies just complete like five, uh, 5 to 10 dungeons I believe it is and yeah, you'll get 500 cubits if you are a normal player with no patron and if you have patron then you'll get 1500 like last week, I believe it was like double the amount. So patron player would get like 3,000. That's kind of nice. Yes, yeah, you need 10,000 for Marshall. Do dailies every single day. 
you'll eventually get it. It's 5 to 10 dungeons once a day, so you'll only get the, the star bar like once a day. Where's Marshall in the store? You go in the store, go in style, I believe it is. No, it's more. More section. And there you go. It's like the second and the f uh, the second one of uh, the fourth row, I believe it is. So it's a more is right here, is this little dude. Oh yeah, let me check. Did... Yeah, this is ten thousand cubits. Oh, I thought they removed like chronomatic emblem. I they didn't remove. Whew, that's that's very really good. Okay. They only they removed like one emblem. It was like unyielding emblem, and that emblem was really good. But pff, rip resting pepperonis unyielding emblem. If you didn't know, like, there was also like one emblem that is, was called the unyielding emblem. Wrong character, John. Thank you. That is this emblem right here. This emblem was also in the store, but they removed it. Maybe they thought it was kind of strong, or maybe I don't know. But this one grants you like a brief invulnerability shield when you activate a potion. So this. Shield that looks like the knight's ultimate ability. Yeah. You'll become invulnerable. You won't take any damage when you when you have that shield. And it's like two seconds, so actually really good. You can actually survive uh, the dark needs dreadnoughts one shot like the nuke with that emblem. And that attack is literally a one-shot kill, no matter how much health you have. If you get hit, you die. But that, that emblem makes it so that you don't take any damage from it. Well then, I ran out of jumps. <laughs> there you go. I haven't, I really haven't used this character in so long. It feels so weird. And it's not that weird because I use, I uh, use this character all the time on the cave thing. But when it comes to combat, I haven't used this character in quite a while. And this character is literally like my. It's my third uh, strongest character. And it's a ridiculously overpowered Shadow Hunter, considering his power rank. Like, dealing over one. Uh, not one life. 4.1 mil without, uh, without Marshall. On 23,400 power rank. That's the same amount of damage that I see some 25,000 power rank do. Or maybe even more than that. This character deals by like surprising amount of damage. It's a surprising and like, a surprisingly strong shadow hunter. Heck, when my gunslinger got to 25,000 power rank, 
my gunslinger had almost the exact same coefficient as this character. And the coefficient on my gunslinger was a little bit like 4 million, 4, 4.1 mil, and this character was like 4 mil. Like 4 million damage on coefficient. So they were like neck and neck. And this character was like 2,000 power rank and, and or less. Well, I wouldn't say he's he's useless, but yes, uh, it's difficult. That's what I'm most likely will say. It's difficult to use because all you're doing is this one. It's this attack. Which, trust me, this attack deals a lot more damage than you think, but... I'm pretty class in, yeah. Like this? Hey, look at that. I can deal 51 mil damage, no Marshall. If I use Marshall, then... That's over max, that's over 100 mil. Which still deals a lot of damage to the Shadow Hunter without the Classium, but it's difficult to use. This one's a lot easier. And. Yeah. Yeah, Marshall is essential. That is why, like. That is the first thing that you should save, like, 100% of the time. Always save up for the emblem that gives you damage, depending on your main character. If you're a magic damage character, then arcane, and if you're physical, then martial. Because that's 250%, that's actually really nice. You got three, three monkeys, that's nice. Gigi. I, I really like the Shadow Hunter, honestly. This is one of my favorite characters ever. I've said this like a couple of times. This is one of my favorites, like ever. My favorite, I would still say the Knight. I would say this one is like my second favorite. Yeah, this one's like my second favorite character. Like with or without Classium, it's my second favorite. It's not, uh, it's not my second highest because Gunslinger is so powerful and you... If you want to be on the top when it comes to doing Shadow Towers, you need a Gunslinger like 100% of the time. Also, if you want like purple name, you need a Gunslinger like ASAP. I don't think I'll be in purple name anymore for for a long time. I'm happy that I got it. But I don't think I'll be like purple name for a long time. I need like a team and like or I need my gunslinger to be more powerful. I might try it uh, before the reset on on Monday, I might try to find a group so I can maintain purple, but I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna happen.
which is okay. I'm happy that I actually got it once. Yeah, I'm finding a group like a group that is wants to do like speed runs, like a speed run. It's gonna be tough. Because the requirements for having like speed runs is just ridiculous. It's like they expect to be like, uh, they expect way too much. If it were my knight, then yes, but my knight is not suitable for speedrun. This a knight. The knight is great, but if the knight is not. Only buzzer, thank you for the follow. But the knight is not a contender for speedruns. The only like three characters that comes to mind are well four well four or five I don't know it's like four or five characters that comes to mind but the most effective are obviously the candy barbarian is because of the buff you always need one candy bar uh, because of the old oh I got a double stellar drop Oish. And unique gunslingers, like definitely gunslingers, they do the most DPS in the entire game, so gunslinger is high up there. Fate Trickster is also really good. Um, I would say Dino Tamer. Dino Tamer is actually not bad, but I don't know. And who else? Dracolite. Dracolite is actually good, but. Dracula is more damage over time and, and it's not really good at burst damage. So I would say Dracula is out of the question. It's more towards like a candy barbarian because you need at least one candy bar. A bunch of gunslingers because gunslinger is the highest burst damage DPS in the entire game. Maybe have one fate trickster and one handful. One fate trickster and one like or pirate captain. That's the other class that comes to mind. The pirate captain. If the person that's that is using the pirate captain knows like throwing the ult over and over again, I got another stellar draw from a random enemy. Oh, GG. And that guy is like. The uh, pirate captain can do some incredible work because the pirate captain has some ridiculous DPS and it's one of the most underrated class in the entire game, I would say. Uh, the pirate captain is ridiculously powerful and it's very underrated. I can show you like my pirate captain, which is not that strong, so you can see what I mean. Alright dude, go for it. Like I'll go with my pirate captain. My pirate captain is not that strong, honestly. But I'll show you like an example of a pirate captain on speedruns. So, I'll go kill this boss real quick. So, let's see if it doesn't die like before doing all of this. I... And he's already dead. Yeah, he died before all of that. It's like throwing mortar. Just that, that ult is just ridiculous. Look at that. And you can throw multiple of those. If the pirate captain knows what he's doing, he can throw like three or four of those. Oh, rip. 
I... Let me kill this invader. <clears throat> so... I'll show you like a little example of the... <clears throat> Jeez, I'm losing my voice. Um... Of the fire captain. Like fire captain DPS. So it's something like this. You can throw down like multiple of those. I right, look at that, four of these. And each shot from each of these deals like, I believe it's like 6.5 times damage or six times damage multiplier. Each shot. So if it is like 6.5, <clears throat> If four of those shoot at the same time, you'll get a multiplier of... So that is 6 times 4 is 24, well it's 6.5, so 6.5 times 4 is like 26. So you'll get a multiplier of 26 per shot. It's like, what? <laughs> also, a class that all people don't use. I'm gonna change characters. <laughs> This is my lowest power rank character, by the way. Just a little fun fact. Trust me, once you get into the higher uber portals, your stats will get a huge boost. Like the uber portals will feel difficult. Trust me. It is how it is. It, it, that is this game in a nutshell. You enter like Uber 7 at like 7 to 8 thousand powering and you will still struggle. And Uber 7 is like 2.5, uh, 2500. Magic man, I am on a magic carpet and I am going everywhere. Hot. Let me check something real quick.
que tipo. I think I'm about to end the stream. <clears throat> no, you're, just, you're hearing in my voice. I'm losing my voice. God damn it. So that's gonna be weird. I'm literally losing my voice. <laughs> uh, why? I am. I'm about to end the stream. I'm losing my voice. Oh no, indeed. I can feel it. I can feel that. Ugh. I don't know. When you're about to lose your voice, you get that one weird feeling in your throat. It's like. I know. I will get water. Oh boy, I got a mount that I already have like a million times. Oops. And before you you ask, yes, I do have this mount. Beat ups. How the hell do you run out of Gleamstone? Gleamstone is literally the easiest resource in the game to get. I ran out of it. Nani. Oh, <laughs> well, that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to do like the little box opening that I always do at the end of the stream. Yeah, I'm gonna get water after this. I'm gonna end the stream either way, but I'm gonna get some water. Yes. I'm gonna open 305 um, Shadow Gem boxes. So those are the U9 boxes. So let's get it! Let's see how many sellers I can get out of this bad boy. So look at the power rank difference. It's like a two star shadow is like 150 power rank. A two star radiant is 200 something. A one star seller is 300 power rank. What? Another one star seller. And you can see the, the power uh, the power inside the seller gem so look at the 2000 magic damage and like 28 like 28.6 critical damage and the 2100 magic damage is below average and the 228.6 is like really low stats in terms of percentage One of these days I'll get a 2 star gem. So I can evaluate and tell you if it is a good gem or a bad gem. But I don't seem to be getting like any 2 star from the looks of it. I have literally the worst RNG ever. I literally have the worst RNG ever. <laughs> it 
ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. My luck is just like... <laughs> oh, finally, a two-star. Ooh, so would you look at this? This is a magic damage, critical damage, critical hit. Some might consider it to be a perfect gem, a perfect magic damage gem. And it is okay, it is, from the looks of it, is, I would say average power rank, average to a little bit above average power rank. I wouldn't say it's amazing power rank, and I wouldn't say it's a bad power rank, I would say it's right down the middle, and I would say it's average to a little bit above average. 2400 uh, magic damage that is in terms of percentage that is average all of them are average so uh, 2400 magic damage is average 34 34.5% 34 is average that's like 60% on both of them and also the critical hit is like 50% I don't know when then is going to be in the next stream That's why I always say frame me on as well then you'll get notified when I stream because I don't have that a precise time I'm just I just stream when I feel like it when I be like oh I want to stream now I'll stream There you go I don't know if I should keep this gem because I don't need any of any fire gems, but I'll keep it for now. And I'll level up the gem so you can see how a stellar gem powers up into. Oh, a two star water. It's two stat. That is a big slap in the face. A two star two stat gem is like it's like a cock tease. Like what the hell? So noise. I'm about to level up this gem. First of all let me check which character does uh which character do, does need a gem that's Ooh, look at that power ring, 1100, that's... 1112, that's so bad. <gasps> what? Uh, eh. Alright. Uh, uh, nice, nice roll. Average power rank. This ones are okay, they're pretty nice as well. That's pretty high power rank, and this is uh, average. I generally don't need any fire gems. I have them all perfect. Even this one. This one's terrible magic damage, but still perfect roll. Let me check my 20k dude. This one's perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Can I see the power rank again? Oh yeah, this is the power. This is the ridiculous gen that I got on stream. Like twelve ninety seven. That's literally my second highest power rank gem that I've ever gotten. Almost thirteen hundred power rank. Uh, well, I don't need any of the, uh, like the gem on any of my characters, so I might as well just. Go ahead and see if I can get a higher power rank than the one that I have. So you're seeing 504 power rank. I'm gonna use Jake Clover because I have a lot of them. So each and every single level says 15 power rank. So that's not bad. And then we will see roll number one at level five. You will see uh, add a random new stat, or if uh, 
at 3 stat, increase the stat by a large amount. Or a large random amount, or whatever. This is what they call a roll. So, let's see. It rolled magic damage. It was 150 power rank. That's pretty low. <laughs> That's below average. Oh well, moving on. It rolled magic damage was below average. So the gem became from a average to a below average. Then it rolled critical hit. By that time I would just look like the gem. Because it rolled critical hit. I don't want any crit hit. But let's level all the way to level 15. That, this is what I always do. I level up all the way to level 15. Just if the rolls are great. And just check the power rank. The roll critical hit and it rolled at 2.9%. What? That's garbage. So the rolls are two critical hits, one magic damage. And these are the stats of a level 15 gem that is below average. I would say this one is a pretty bad gem. So yeah. This is what you would expect from an U9 gem. This is what you would expect from a U9 gem. And this one I would say is a bad U9 gem. It's a bad gem for a U9. I'll look like that. Oh, okay. So if you want to see like a decent or a good gem I should have like one for each of my characters like this is level 25 this is a eh, eh. well this one this one is a good gem this one I would say is a did it roll crit hit on this gem as I think about it it roll crit hit no, no, well rip that's not great gem <laughs> It's alright, power in, but it's not a great gem. Do I have any good gems on any of my characters? That are I am be like, oh wow, that's nice. And let's take this one, for example, this one from the Lunar Island. So this one's actually not that bad. So this is a good gem. This in particular is a good gem. It's still level 16. I found better gems, but this one is a good gem. It's perfectly rolled, it's high stats, and all in all, it's a great gem. I believe my Shadow Hunter also has great gem, but my Shadow Hunter has them at level 25. Yeah, rip. My Vanguardian also has great gems, I guess. Yeah, this one. Yeah, now, this is a perfect example of an amazing gem. Look at the power rank and look at the stats. It literally has 100 power rank more than the gem that I just look collected. And the rolls are perfect. So it's literally perfect roll. It rolled 2 critical damage and 1 physical damage. So if it rolls like 2 physical damage or critical damage is considered a perfect roll. But this one is like 2 critical damage, 1 physical. And it has over 1200 power rank at level 15. That means this gem is just top tier. This one as well is also 1200. It's 1250. And the stats of it are amazing. This gem is great, Jesus Christ. 
I'm just tempted to level up to level 25 and give it to my Shadow Hunter. That's how good it is. I could do it, but I don't want to. I don't care. I don't want like a max coefficient of my Shadow Hunter. Why do I go 2 PD, 2 CD, 1 PD? Is because 2 CD, 1 PD. I go with like half and half. So let's say, for example, like night. I have. It's honestly the same. I've tested both. I tested both, and honestly, it's around the same damage. Yep. The difference is like. 10k damage. It's virtually no difference. So, yeah. So, this one, for example, uh, this one, this is my knight. My knight, I would say, is perfect. Like 100%, I hit my headset, and that scared me. Anyway. I would say this one is my knight as, as perfect as I can. So all of the gems are... Half of them are 2 CDs, 1 PD, and one, well, 2 critical damage, 1 physical damage, and 2 of the, and the half is like 2 physical, 1 crit damage. And my empower gems are... 2 of them are 2 physical, 1 crit damage, and... One of those two crit damage, one physical. My current damage are is two hundred and seventy thousand physical damage, one thousand seven hundred and seventy critical damage, and I have, I believe, a five million coefficient. So this is perfect as I can get. But yeah, actually, uh, I actually tested both out like a couple of times I uh, getting two two critical damage one physical and two physical one critical damage both the M are around same power rank and the results were pretty much the same I was curious as well so might as well Uh, yeah. So I, for example, I I do have like my gunslinger like really high roll on magic damage. I my magic damage is really high. It's because when you get into the later portions of the game, like higher tier on on the gems, like ten percent critical damage, it will equal the same like as. Like 2,000 physical or magic damage. It doesn't look that much, but it actually is a lot. Like critical damage, like 1% critical damage is a lot more than you think. That's why having like... Really good critical damage and also like physical or magic damage is great. You'll get like the maximum amount of coefficient like that, but the difference between the two of them is like it's barely anything. So that's why a lot of people say like, oh, I have this and this roll. And I'm dealing this amount of damage, so I have like, let's say for example, in terms of critical damage and and lesser gems, I say ah, I have a, a ten eight roll, so like ten magic damage, a critical damage, and someone that say ah, I do have a nine nine roll, so nine critical damage, nine, f nine physical or magic damage, and they pretty much will deal around the same damage. If they're both like maxed out, it's 
It's obviously like very very interesting. <laughs> really? That's interesting. <sighs> Very interesting. <laughs> Let me go and grab my costume. I want my Batman costume. Look at my magic wand. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest style from a costume like ever. I also like this one, like what? A little hammer. There are some weird styles, but Dudes, I'm about to end the stream. Uh, noise, dude. I'm about to. Wow. So it gives like a hell of a lot of experience. It, it really does. 43k from Royal. Um, some from Bomber Royale at 12th place. Oh boy. That experience is. They really did say that the Battle Royale gives a lot of experience, so they weren't kidding. <laughs> Eesh. Well, anyways, I'm cutting out the stream. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. And thank you for literally like just hanging out, having some fun. What is it? GG indeed. And so I actually lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. Check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash D1994, shameless plug, yada yada yada. Same deal every single time. <laughs> so my YouTube channel I post all my live streams right there. And I also put Actually, I only added like two episodes on my PC Let's Play and the Flux method tutorial thing. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hello, how's it going? Thank you for just watching till the end, you crazy son of a pickle. And just check me out on Mixer, mixer.com slash 994, link in the description as always in all the videos. And also, if you want me, you, if you want to friend me, friend me on Xbox at John1994, so you will get notified when I'm doing a live stream. Okay, that's everything I have for now. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care, keep on hunting, and see you around.